So here's the rock, much like I found it. <clears throat> I didn't know what it was. Couldn't tell. I brought it home and looked at it. This is what I call the neck here. It goes up over the top. to what looks like to me to be the beak, the head. See it's got matching features here, matches over here. These I take to be legs. What it looks like to me is I'm guessing a Native American with a crane costume on. Here's the tail, wing, goes over to here. Here are the shoulders of the wing. And this wing goes over to here. Here again, the main body, the two legs, tail, long outstretched neck. the head with an open beak in the air. We are in Crane Country here in Dane County. You might hear them squawking in the background. We can hear them from this location. They dance, jump up and down, throw their neck back, open their beak and squawk. Looks like two colors is a dark outline. There's a cream color inner color. There's still paint here that could be tested. Here is the rock I found. This is the body, this is the uh, two legs, the tail, the wing, wings matching matching shoulders I'll pull it up so you can see the head there's a shot of the head I hope you can see that squiggly lines for looks like an open beak I'm guessing this is a crane Here's a tracing I did, life-size tracing. Some abstract and some scribbling to it. Two legs, tail, wings, shoulders. the head. I'm not making any claims. I just found it to be very interesting. I know where I found it. I know how I found it. I know when I found it. And I'll talk more about that. Hello friends, Dane Diggs here. This is where I found the painted rock. <clears throat> This, is, this was a woodlot 
20 years ago. This road was graded here. This was all gravel and sand graded down here. I was walking along here and right along this area in the curb fill is where I found the rock. The corner of Rivercrest Drive and Grandview Court in McFarland, Wisconsin. A few steps from the Hare River. Where it exits Lake Wabisa and heads south. Here we are at Indian Mound Conservation Park. Jaeger Hiking and Biking Trail. We're about a hundred yards from the we're about a hundred yards from the location where I found the painted rock in the road fill. Pretty much my lifetime collection of flakes. Nothing to speak of much. Some points, some bottoms. Some glass I found that looked like it had been shaped, used. Pretty colors here. Maybe an unfinished point. I found what I call Indian marbles, There's a batch of them here. If anybody knows what these are, I'd like to know. I call this an Indian button. Picked up some knives, metal knives, like an old butter knife. Piece of soapstone or pipestone, I don't know what that is, it's pretty smooth, been scraped. This looks like a piece of red ochre, if anybody knows if this is ochre or not. It does rub off red. Lots of hand tools, hand knives. Here's my collection of some better points. Still not much to speak of. There's a few whole ones here. This was the first one I found. It's a knife. Fits the right hand perfectly. This is the second one I found at Lake Farm Park. And some I bought. $6, $8.50, $8.50 at antique stores. I couldn't just leave them there by themselves. This one was whole until my niece decided to see how strong it was. That was beautiful. Very thin. I spent so much time out in the fields without any luck that I decided to whittle my own arrowheads. Here they are. It's oak. Oak and a Dremel tool.